Uh, well, I'm Laird Hamilton, a surfer, a waterman, a waterman that's been in the ocean since I was about three years old. And uh, I pride myself on trying to have as much fun and be as versatile as I can. Well, I, I came down to, uh, to New Zealand, specifically Ragland, and uh, I came to Ragland to, to experience uh, the surf here. And, and we had an idea that we'd be able to do something special and unique uh, at this location and we were correct. We were able to do something special and unique. Wide open, buddy. Not like we're gonna just get mom. Wide open. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like the samurai right before the battle, sharpen, sharpen. the blade. When I overlook a place like this and I see this surf, it just it's it's uh, music to my soul. It's something that 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 kind of rings a bell in my heart. It's it just draws me to it. it. It's it's hard to explain sometimes in words. It's you know it's kind of I feel like it's uh, why I'm here. Like I look out over that and I go I go I look out over the ocean with those waves and I say that's why I'm on the planet <laughs> for those <laughs> or they're there for me, but. I'm not that uh, proud, so I say I'm here for them. <laughs> what we were doing today in Raglan was riding foil boards, which are surfboards with a keel that you fly above the water with, and it's really the most uh, efficient wave riding instrument in the world. And, and this is a location that we could do something unique and different that, uh, well, we, that we've never done and we don't think anybody else has either. <laughs> Something like the foil really opens up waves that aren't for surfing. In fact, we prefer looking for the places where the surfers aren't to ride waves uh, with the foil because now it's like all of a sudden there's a whole world of places that no one's out and it's perfect. And don't you want to go there and surf? And, and I think as a surfer, we're all looking for that. I mean, we all go to places that are great that have 80 people out surfing, but we all want our own wave. So inside of all of us as a surfer, we want to experience our own single wave. and. Foiling is one of those things that allows you to do that. It allows you to, it makes the ocean bigger. It's always, whenever something looks really simple, it's probably pretty complicated. Like, and, we, and the more simple somebody makes it look, the better they are. To make it look simple is, uh, there's a lot of adjustments. I think that's what's so captivating uh, for us as riders to ride a foil and to, and to foil surf is that it's just got, it demands our total focus. And if you at all, I mean, I was fortunate today to even be able to smile and wave because normally it's just, you know, okay, I gotta keep my center of gravity. I gotta look where I'm gonna be and project where, and where's the wave and, you know. So that, that's a, uh, you know, that's, that's the thing that keeps us fully engaged. I mean, it demands your, your attention. And, uh, and, and, if you, and the second you don't give it your attention, you, you're going to pay. And, and so it's, and, I, and that's what, you know, I think that's anybody that's experienced a foil, that's what they're attracted to. Well, Waterman's somebody that has a kind of a capacity to do anything in the ocean at some le at a decent level. So Waterman's like a a uh, versatile ocean person that just somebody that can sail and dive and fish and surf in all these different forms and pretty much anything to do with water. Drink some water too. <laughs> well, I mean, w waves are are. Uh, a manifestation of energy. I mean, in a way, it's, you know, when, when you look at a wave, it's created by a giant storm somewhere, and then that storm sends out this vibration that travels for thousands of miles, and then we ride it, and we get to experience that sense, you know, riding that energy, and then it dissipates and disappears, and every wave is different at the same place. Uh, every ride is different, and so it's, it's, it's like the ultimate improvisation, and I think that's what keeps us coming back for more and more, is that it, is that it's, it's different and new every single time. And I think for a human, that's a, the most captivating aspect of life is just always having change in something new in, in a somewhat reliable situation. 
Raglan's, uh, it's a cute little town. It's a, it's a beautiful little town that reminds me of uh, a lot of little towns that I, ha that I have in Hawaii. You know, we have little places that I grew up in and places that I've lived that are just, it's, it's, uh, it just feels like, it just feels warm and, and cozy and everybody knows everybody and you just feel like, you feel comfortable. You feel comfortable and you feel, you feel, uh, you know, you feel welcome. Well, I, you know, for me, when I look at the ultimate waterman, the ultimate waterman is 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 gonna be uh, humble <laughs> and and uh, and versatile, very complex. I mean, very uh, really a capacity to do uh, a, 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 a huge array of of, of disciplines and and uh, and ultimately to be, if not one of the greatest athletes in the world.